Hello, this is a quick video um, just running down the um, setup so far of the scene of the final bit. So, uh, overall, I've still got the cube and X particles uh, as, uh, assets in their own um, null still. Uh, initially, I had some lights going on. Uh, about four lights lighting up the top two corners here of the cube and the bottom two corners underneath. Um, however, I ran into some problems there with the X particles. The uh, the lights uh, as they weren't as they weren't target lights uh, like I've got set up here. Um, they were just area lights and they were illuminating the other side of the ring, making them uh, too blown out. So I went with the two. Um, target lights, I've got the nulls underneath there, and then they're both up here, uh, and they're illuminating each face, or faces, got top and both the sides, uh, and then the same for the other side, um, they are a light blue, just to try and combat some of the orange, because it's very orangey and yellowy, the cube material. Um, Additionally, some other changes, the um, the band around the faces were, was gold, uh, however this gold clashed a lot with the uh, yellow of the, uh, the, the displacement map, uh, so I turned it to a blue which kind of gives it a more, um, a more titanium look um, in terms of metal, metal looks I guess, um, and yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it for all of that. Um, and then to the main additional feature is the fog. Um, and there was a couple ways which I was going to go about this. Initially, I thought there'd be an X particle, um, an X particle material that I create, um, and there's an X particle gaseous material. However, I wasn't too keen on this as adding more particles would just further increase the render time uh, so I was more set on going with a material um, initially I went with a circle or a sphere however if I just add a sphere quickly you can see kind of the general gist it's it it doesn't it, it would cover the whole thing however there'd be a lot of gas or a lot of fog above the uh, of the whole scene which I didn't really want so the next possible thing I could go for would either be a capsule or a oil tank um, and as this is quite a wide scene I went with an oil tank and I've just labeled that fog and this can be seen here now um, I've got x-ray enabled so I can see through it however that's what it looks like and I basically just stopped it just beyond the edge of the torus of the emitters so that it, it it dies off quite nicely and then the material I have has nothing else checked apart from the fog it's got a brightness of nine and the color is white um, now th this highlights quite a key issue um, within a lot of the um, like modifiers or materials or anything like that there's um, always a fall off option so like this on the XP turbulence there's a fall off modifier which basically allows you to have some control as to when the uh, like modifier or when the effector falls off so I was very much expecting this for the fog so if I go to the displacement or the color or whatever there, there's always a, a diffuse there's always a fall off option however fog was quite different um, it only allowed for this distance value um, to which I thought was the distance of the fog, how how far it was going to be travelling in centimetres. Um, and this isn't correct at all. Um, this distance value basically determines how far light can pass through it. So in this case, light from the target, target lights can pass through 550 centimetres of it before it gets completely diffused. So Basically, the higher the number, the more translucent, um, and the lower the number, the, the thicker it is. Um, and if I just quickly pull up one of the renders I've just done, uh, you can 
pretty much see the difference between what uh, it, it kind of looks like. So in the background, you've got, um, this looks quite washed out, but I can change that. Um, so in the background, you've got some stars, you can see that, and you've got this kind of hazy, haziness around here, around the, around the, uh, around the cube to try and add some interesting elements and fill this gap. And then you've also got the part X particles ring around the outside. Uh, and then compared to this one, uh, obviously the colors have changed a bit. They're, these are a bit more vibrant. However, there's still this void here. Um, it's very clear, very clear. So you can see some stars and then some stars there. Um, if anything, I've played around with the material on the cube. So more of the orange is emphasized, make it a bit more different. Uh, I've basically dulled down the X particles color, which I don't particularly like now. I quite like the vibrance here and I'm going to be adding that back. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically what this is doing. Um, and overall, I feel that it has a really nice effect. Um, I'm going to be animating now that all of this is created. I will I will try and do a bit more further research into making it thicker and then falling off quite rapidly. I've already tried duplicating it and making a smaller object inside. However, that doesn't really work. So I think my, this might be my limit with the fog so far. Um, I could try playing around with the uh, emitter. So. Uh, this is just a torus, it's not very thick, it's just very thin. So I could try playing around with the torus, um, oh, try playing around with the torus, try and give it a bit more um, width, I guess, increase in the radius, something like that. That way there's a vaster spread. Um, just just something to maybe try and uh, tweak this gap here, play around the emission settings ag again, but something to change it up. But overall, I'm really happy with this so far. Um, this is the main element, though, the fog, to try and add some diversity into it, um, and it will just be little bits of tweaking before I start setting up the cameras and rendering. So thanks very much.